My father is 80 years old. Several years ago, he had a heart attack. He's being diagnosed with cardiovascular disease and is on medication. He must regularly visit his GP and a heart specialist. Both are very busy. If he experiences the symptoms of a heart attack, he can call either one of them or, in the extreme case, the emergency service. My father's situation illustrates the reason why the cost of providing health care continues to rise worldwide. My father is ageing, he has a chronic disease, and there's a shortage of qualified health care professionals to treat him. Like one billion people worldwide, my father owns a smartphone. He can be fitted with a small wireless ECG sensor, which can communicate with this phone. The sensor is cheap, but it has limited battery, memory size, and computation power. Using this combination of technology, arrhythmias, that is irregular heartbeats, can be detected, and if necessary, an alert sent to a hospital. The question, however, is, where should we perform this detection? The answer lies in a trade-off between two opposing variables that we need to minimise. The first is latency. If an arrhythmia is detected, we want an alert to be sent to the hospital as quickly as possible so my father can receive help without delay. The second is power. We don't want the sensor or the mobile phone to stop working or my father is out of the home. We are researching two approaches to optimise the use of resources in the system and achieve a balance between latency and power. The first is to distribute processing between the sensor and the mobile phone, taking into account the relative size of their memory and battery. The second approach is to use a computationally simple algorithm on the sensor that has low sensitivity. Any abnormalities detected can then be sent up to the phone, where a more complex algorithm can be used and alerts sent if necessary. In the future, wireless health monitoring will not only help people like my father to live longer, it will allow them to have a better quality of life and it will reduce the cost burden of providing health care. Thank you.